Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm gonna do a short, quick video for you today. We're gonna be talking about how to test your brake fluid, making sure that it is good to use, whether this is a long-term maintenance thing or whether you're going to get ready to track your vehicle. Now there's a couple different ways you can test this. I'm gonna cover both the strip method and the digital pen method. So stick with me and I'll show you how to do that now. The first method we're gonna cover is the strip method. The strip method is quite literally just a testing strip. And what you do is you dip it into the brake fluid, you make sure that any of the fluid is dripping off, you clean that up. And then you compare it to the card that they give you, which shows you how much moisture is in your brake fluid. Now, this method is pretty straightforward. It's not very detailed, but it gives you an idea of, you know, is your fluid okay or is it completely trashed? And then you can go from there as far as replacing it. Now, uh, the nice thing about the strips is that usually one side is brake fluid and the other side is coolant. So you can also use these for coolant. Um, today we're just testing the brake fluid. It's pretty straightforward. You go on over to your brake master cylinder. You uncover the cap, dip the strip into the fluid reservoir, pull it out, make sure you dab off any additional or extra fluid. Brake fluid is super corrosive to paint and other metals, so you wanna make sure that it doesn't get on your vehicle at all. Then what you do is you set it aside, you typically wait about 60 to 90 seconds, and then you compare the color of the strip to the color of the card, the reference card that they give you, and that will let you know the condition of your brake fluid, typically corrosion level, in parts per million, et cetera. The other method is the pen method. Uh, some of them are digital pens. Some of them have a display. Others just have a little LED light that lights up to let you know roughly the moisture level. Uh, with this one here, uh, it is a multifunction pen. It covers different brake fluid types. There's a little selector button here that lets you choose between .3, .4, .5.1. Um, so what you do is you want to make sure that you have the selection set to the type of fluid that you're testing. Uh, if you're not positive, uh, dot three is typically what's in most vehicles. So similar to the strip, what you're going to do is walk over to your brake master cylinder and remove the cap on the master cylinder, remove the cap on the pen, and then place the pen into the master cylinder and look for the reading that is going to be on the digital display or if it's an LED light style, you'll look at the LED light and see where it's at. In this case here, I'm bouncing between 0.3 and 0.5% moisture level. Now, if this were any other car, your daily driver, there is plenty of brake life left in this fluid. But since I do track this vehicle, I am going to go ahead and change the fluid out anyway. One of the reasons that I'm changing the fluid out is because I am going to test out the Brembo brake fluid, the racing brake fluid, the HTC 64T. Now, if you've watched any of my uh, videos in the past, you'll have seen that I'm a big fan of the Endless RF650. I've tried Castrol SRF in the past. I'm not a big fan of the brake pedal feel with the SRF. Plus some of my friends have noticed some uh, swelling in the brake seals on some of their race vehicles, some of their other vehicles. Uh, I love the Endless, it's a fantastic fluid. I'm gonna give the Brembo Racing Fluid a shot and I'm getting ready to go track the car in about a month here. So gonna make sure that there's clean, fresh fluid in the car. Specifically with GM and their performance track guide uh, or performance supplement guide, um, they recommend that you change the brake fluid in your vehicle if you're going to be tracking the car before every event. And if you're unsure 
of the age of the fluid. Um, if it's older than a month, then you should change it anyway. Now, the fluid that's in there is the Endless RF650. It's been in there for over a year. My reading showed a very low number, but I'm gonna change the fluid out to the Brembo anyway. So I hope this video helped you figure out when to check your brake fluid, how to check your brake fluid, and making sure to replace it when you need to. Uh, again, a quick recap is that if you're going to be tracking the vehicle, you should change your fluid per GM's recommendation if it's at least a month old or more uh, or before every track event. Now, just being honest with you, uh, I track the car a lot and I typically only change the brake fluid once per season, but that's because I do use high quality DOT4 racing fluid and I always keep an eye on it and make sure that it's in good shape. Using the strip method or using the digital pen method will definitely help you in determining if your brake fluid needs to be replaced or not. Now, if you're not tracking your vehicle and you're just doing long-term maintenance type of work, then uh, I would recommend checking your brake fluid at least every 25,000 miles. Uh, that way you're in the habit of taking a look at it uh, maybe more frequently than you would. Uh, if you look at the GM owner's manual with the service uh, interval recommendation, it, it doesn't tell you to replace the brake fluid at all. Uh, and that is both the regular driving conditions and the extreme driving conditions. There's just no check marks for brake fluid. So according to GM, you could just run it for 200,000 miles apparently, but uh, not me. I like to be on top of those things. I change my racing fluid at least once a year. If you're not gonna track the car, at least check it every 25,000 miles to make sure that it's in good working condition so that you don't have to worry about your brakes not working when you need it the most. Thanks for sticking around. I hope the video helped you out. As always, I'll have links in the description for the tools that I use today, both the strips and the digital uh, brake fluid pen can be found in the description, along with a, a variety of other common tools that I use for the Camaro. Uh, I'll have some links for the Brembo Racing Fluid, the Endless RF650 as well. Leave a comment below. If I can clarify anything for you, I absolutely will. If you are interested in learning how to do a complete brake fluid change or flush, uh, I have a video on that. You can find it right up here, right there, right there. If there's any questions on that, feel free to, to ask away. Until next time, till the next video, we'll see you then.